Hello everyone, I'm Dear Myrtle, your friend in genealogy, but you know that this channel is all about creating journals to tell an ancestral story. One story, one anecdote, one document at a time. So this is the final flip through. We've been using Stamperia Garden, uh, 10 double faced 12 by 12 uh, sheets, acid free, which is always nice. And I know I said I was only going to use what came in the paper pack, but I did add the buttons early on, and now I went cuckoo for Sari Silk. Uh, I used this variegated embroidery floss. Well, actually, I think this is really fine quality, but I like it because it has a pink and the lavender, and yeah, okay. I also added one of these little Charmology heart shaped lockets that I put here, attach it to the outside. This is for a pretty close childhood friend and she's probably figured out it's for her by now because I had to do all this videoing, right? So here's the final flip through without my little writings that are to her very personal. It takes a long time to grow an old friend. Okay. And we have a journaling card. Journaling on both sides, interesting paper clip. Here I added garden in on this side of the fold, just to kind of help. Um, also, in addition to the first two journaling cards that I put in here, I added this one because I just love that design. Yep, I added some paper on the back and a little embellishment, and oh man, am I going to be glad when I don't do things crookedly. Oh gosh. All right, let's go through and see what else we have. Okay, we've seen this before. I did add some more of that heart-shaped lace. I don't know if you can see that. See how it has a little heart design repeating there. I'm kind of heartsy. Not necessarily lacy, but I think we needed it there. Just a little something. In a way, I wish that I had torn the edges of this so they weren't so pointed, but it's okay. Here we have something going on because there's a little bit of washi tape on the side. And of course, that's to accommodate a flip. Man, I can hardly get it all in camera. Um, just one more place to tell a little anecdote. You might put the picture here and the anecdote there. Now, I got to tell you, this is my best friend since I moved to Maryland in sixth grade. And we don't have a picture of the two of us. And I don't know when we're going to get it, but that would look great on this page, don't you think? Then remember on this side, we have two different kinds of things. We have a tuck spot and, it, and the little card has a tab. And we purposefully used a glassine bag because we really, really super like this background and didn't want to totally obscure it. And here's two more little cards in that envelope. And Yep, you can still see the design of the beautiful Stamperia paper behind. Okay, let's get that back in there. And this goes back in there. This pattern reminds me of feed sack uh, fabric. Kind of interesting to me. Okay, is this one whole page? Yeah. Okay, tuck spot, side tuck spot. Here we added some of that heart-shaped lace. And when we put this little tag on, and it was just an embellishment, not a tag to write on the back of, I was careful to add some cheesecloth. Okay. I really don't want to change the summer, spring, summer, autumn, winter collages. I just think they're beautiful. Okay, and this is where in the previous video, video, we had used collage page to put down some pretty tissue paper. It just happened to be that color green that we need. And then um, off camera, 
I fussy cut this butterfly from the same Stamperia set. Okay, on this side, you may recall that I added um, that little bit of paper lace that coordinates with the front, try to put things in two or three places. I love this little collage here, it's not overdone. And here's a little journaling card, it's all good. Ooh, interesting repeat of a paper clip, the round kind. Oh, now this one was fun. The card itself did not include this little circular part, life began in a garden, nor did it include that cute little bird. But I fussy cut around that, which basically means you kill yourself trying not to cut the, the bird's feet off or his beak or anything like that. And I think that's just what that page needed, was to have him right there. I like that. Okay, now we move to winter. There's some sorry silk, or not sorry silk, washi tape. <laughs> and it's another flip. So we're accustomed to that kind of a flip. But here is a different kind of flip. Wow. I'm having to move left, right, up, down in order to take in this whole journal. And then I want to show you what I've had to force myself to do. And by the way, the sorry silk is this beautiful green and pink that we have on this embellishment. And it's just there to decorate this side. And it's perfectly fine. But let me show you the back side. Yes, I have a stamp that says custom made by Mert. And I fringe the edge of this fabric. This is the same fabric that's part of the spine. However, here we've got some more of that heart lace and we can still see some of that sorry silk. So that is my project. I'm, I'm, oh, I love it. And I, it happened again. Whenever I seem to be making a journal I think more about the person and that I'm making it for. Normally it's a dead ancestor. This time it's a very much alive and very much appreciated friend from the previous century. <laughs> Nothing left to say, but I'm Dear Myrtle, your friend in genealogy. Happy family tree climbing and journal making, everybody. That's a wrap.